I'm here at El Cloro and I'm going to show you really quick how to use the hot tub. You've got the uh, controls here on the outside. It's kind of an older hot tub um, to set the temperature. Obviously, plus and minus. Minus is going to be down. Right now that says 100. Uh, it's missing part of the display here. It's the 98, 97, 96. So we're going to go back up. I'll just set it at 104. There we go. <clears throat> and uh, when it reaches 104 degrees, then this ready light will come on. It'll be green. A uh, couple more options here. We've got the light, plus and minus. That kind of toggles different light uh, function. And then the jets. You shouldn't need to use the clean button, but you hit the jets button. And that'll kick the jets on. Um, so, um, it's kind of a puzzle to work the jets. <clears throat> so, as you can see, these jets are working. Those jets over there, we got some jets over here. If you move this, Kind of toggles which jets work better. Yeah. You just kind of have to play around with it until you get it to the setting you want. Uh, please excuse the, the water. This tub has not been cleaned yet. Um, so, but this is where you probably would want it set, somewhere around there. And these little jet uh, ports here, uh, I believe all the way to the right is open. So if you go to the left, you know, that's going to turn off some of the jets. And obviously, which ones are working will depend on where this is set to as well. So right now I've got all three of those turned off, which are, I believe, those jets, these jets, and some other jets. Uh, maybe those back ones. But you just have to experiment with having those closed and turning this. So like, this is where I had it. See yeah, how these these jets normally would be working. Well, they're working all right, but uh, they would be a lot more if I open this up. So that's all the way on. That's all the way off. Um, let's see here. And then. When you turn it like this, it seems to have more of the, the bottom jets working. And then straight up is kind of more over in that corner. But you just have to play with it. So I just open that one, that one, that one. Ultimately, I'd probably leave these ones all open. I don't think this panel is actually working right now. Um, so you can probably ignore that. Um, yeah, leave those open and just experiment with the direction of the jets. Where you actually, you know, based on where you want to sit, stuff like that. So, sorry, I don't have more of a solid answer for that um, but <clears throat> that is what it is um, hopefully that will get you started then to turn the jets off you just push the jets button and then uh, the cover is on this little kind of a hinged hydraulic thing. It should just, this is how it sits. It's just kind of folded back like that. 
And then you simply <clears throat> take it and put it back down. And it'll look like that. And then you just fold this last section back like that. And there should be some kind of a bungee cord to secure the top. Um, in this case, it looks like there's a cord right here. Um, it may look a little different than that, but that's how it is right now. And that's the hot tub. Um, real quick, another thing about the hot tub at Elk Laurel, just want to mention if there's no power to the hot tub, you want to. <clears throat> Go down below here, um, here we are, there's the hot tub. Um, this little gray box is a little circuit box. Um, you want to check inside there and make sure that the breaker hasn't tripped for the hot tub. Um, that can happen uh, for whatever reason, but um, if there's no power, that's the first thing to check.